Starting from Tampa, in 1976, President Gerald R. Ford issued an executive order that read in part, quote, no employee of the United States government shall engage in or conspire to engage in political assassination. Our fifth story on the countdown tonight, as we first reported on this news hour last night, investigative reporter Seymour Hirsch claiming to have uncovered a covert executive assassination ring that reported directly to Vice President Dick Cheney's office. A reminder, if one is needed, that in 1976, Mr. Cheney was the chief of staff to President Ford, meaning by the time Cheney was back in the West Wing, it appears he had either forgotten about his own boss's executive order, or worse, he had decided to ignore it. Mr. Hirsch making the revelations at a forum in Minnesota two nights ago. The topic, America's constitutional crisis. Hirsch saying of Mr. Cheney and his inner circle, quote, they ran a government within the government, adding eight or nine neoconservatives took over our country. Hirsch's bombshell allegations about the assassination ring, the result of reporting for a book, he says, might still be a year or two away from being published. Hirsch telling MinPost.com in an email after the event that the disclosures are, quote, not something he wanted to dwell about in public. The toothpaste, however, already out of the proverbial tube here. When the discussion touched upon the abuses of executive power, Mr. Hirsch asked how these things tend to happen and whether they continue to happen to this day. In his reply, the reporter describing a secret commando unit officially called the Joint Special Operations Command. It's a special wing of our special operations community that is set up independently. They do not report to anybody except in, in the Clinton, uh, in the uh, Bush Cheney days, they report directly to the Cheney, Cheney office. They do not report to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff or to Mr. Gates, the Secretary of Defense. They report directly to him. They are not, uh, uh, they have absolutely no, uh, Congress has no oversight of it. It's an executive assassination wing, essentially. And it's been going on and on and on. And just today in the Times, there was a story saying that its, it's leader, a, a three-star admiral named McRaven, uh, order to stop the certain activities because there were so many collateral deaths. It's been going into, in, uh, under President Bush's authority. They've been going into countries, not talking to the ambassador or to the CIA station chief, and finding people on a list and executing them and leaving. That's been going on, well, in the name of all of us. A CIA spokesman today responded to Hirsch's allegations by calling them, quote, utter nonsense.